prepare to dive deep into the fascinating world of forecasting. We're about to unbox the secrets laid out in Super Forecasting, The Art and Science of Prediction by Philip Tetlock and Dan Gardner. Have you ever wondered how experts pinpoint the likelihood of future events, whether it's the possibility of war or the next weather pattern? Well, with a staggering $50 billion spent annually on these predictions, we're cracking the code on how this forecasting is done. Let's start with a thought-provoking question. Where do you envision this channel a year from now? The subscriber count, the view tally jot down your guesses. In a way, you're forecasting too. Enrico Fermi, the physicist who cleverly estimated the strength of an atomic bomb using just the drift of scattered paper, introduces us to the first concept. Knowledge is power and prediction. The implication is startlingly simple the more accurately we assess the present, the better we can foretell the future. However, be warned that forecasts are often riddled with ambiguity. Consider when the CEO of a tech giant dismissed the future impact of the iPhone, using terms like significant market share. But what did he mean by significant? Vagueness is a forecast's arch nemesis, which leads us to the importance of specificity in making projections. Digging into the third revelation, we uncover the secret of decomposing grand questions into bite-sized ones. How many piano tuners are in Chicago, you might ask? Fermi would have tackled that by breaking down the components of the question into digestible figures. This seemingly trivial approach can bear surprisingly accurate results. Then there's the dance with probability. A story about a teacher's coin-flipping assignment unveils a critical aspect of human psychology we tend to underestimate randomness. But reality often defies our orderly expectations, and those long streaks of heads or tails are more common than our brains would like to believe. And what if I told you that hoarding knowledge like a dragon as treasure might not significantly elevate your prediction game? The knowledge curve suggests that while being well-informed is beneficial, high IQ doesn't necessarily equate to superior forecasting ability. Sometimes, perusing the New York Times might just edge out a genius-level IQ when it comes to making accurate predictions. Now, to the characteristics that distinguish a super forecaster from the rest. A combination of humility, openness, numeracy, self-criticism, and an unwavering commitment to updating beliefs as new information comes in. These remarkable individuals view their forecasting abilities as a skill that can be honed, coupling it with a persistence to see it through often for decades at a stretch. To enhance your wisdom, let's explore some actionable steps to becoming a better forecaster yourself. Begin by nurturing a growth mindset cultivate the belief that you can improve your predictive capabilities. Embrace uncertainty, accept that reality is complex and often chaotic, and you need to be comfortable navigating it. Be analytical dissect big questions into smaller, manageable ones, just as Fermi did with his piano tuners. Educate yourself stay informed by reading reputable sources that provide deep analysis rather than sensational headlines. Reflect on the anchors in your judgment biases that might skew your predictions. Evaluate information critically, and don't be afraid to revise your forecasts when warranted. If facts change, your prediction should too. Understand probabilities, they are the language of forecasting. Sharpen your mathematical literacy to interpret data and discern patterns. But let's not stop at just acquiring this knowledge. Actively practice making predictions. Start with low-stakes situations to test your hypotheses without fear of significant consequences. Keep a journal to track your predictions and review them periodically. This will help you identify patterns in your thinking and learn from past mistakes. Becoming a super forecaster is not about never being wrong, it's about being less wrong over time. Like sharpening a blade, the process is gradual, requiring consistent effort and a willingness to learn from every outcome, whether successful or not. The journey to honed foresight demands patience, persistence, and a dash of humility. It's an exquisite blend of art and science, psychology, and mathematics. It's a commitment to lifelong learning and to approaching the world as an endlessly intriguing puzzle waiting to be solved. And now, gentlemen, a little reminder. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, and ring the notification bell to not only stay on top of our journey together but also as a personal step to mastering the art of forecasting in your own life. As we march ahead, stay tuned for more insights that sharpen your edge in personal finance, investments, the divine masculine, embracing modern life dating with wisdom, and navigating the complexities of our modern economy. As you leave this digital think tank today, ponder on the insights shared. Which of these concepts are you going to incorporate into your daily life? Which strategies will you implement to strengthen your prediction prowess? And if this foray into the art of forecasting brought any value to your day, you're welcome to show appreciation that mirrors what you've gained. 
Until next time, stay intelligent, stay strategic, and as always, thank you for watching. Greetings, ambitious souls out there. Imagine for a second the rush of becoming a billionaire magnate without stepping foot into a lecture hall ever again. Picture the tech moguls and business giants who ditched their college gowns for entrepreneurial crowns. The tricky thing is, for every Zuckerberg, Gates, or Jobs, there's a trail of dropout dreamers struggling to make rent. Let's embark on a journey into the intriguing world of survivorship bias. Prepare to unlock the patterns and pitfalls of history's monumental successes and the hidden tales of those left behind. Survivorship bias isn't just about the collegiate who calls it quits. It's also in the ancient edifices still kissing the sky centuries later, while their forgotten peers have long returned to dust. It's in the glossy tales of fortune's few, painting a deceptive path to replicate. It's about the overlooked forest for the mighty oaks and the thousands of saplings that never saw the sun. It's a cognitive illusion distorting our perception by idolizing the enduring at the expense of the vast majority who simply vanish. Economists wrangle with survivorship bias daily. Take the stock market, where a select few startups skyrocket and entice investors to take a plunge based on past glory a dangerous game. Remember, historical performance is a shaky scaffolding for future forecasts. As for the music industry, consider the golden oldies that have drowned out the clamorous duds of yesteryears. Survivorship bias tunes us into nostalgia, deaf to the dissonance of the forgotten flops. Observing the selective memories of the elders, their rose-tinted or dreary reminiscences are often products of the survivorship bias, which cherry-picks events and emotions. This cognitive twist applies to everyday fries, claiming the smaller fry's survival owed to their elusiveness from your grasp, leaving them to last in the container. The tale of the cat's miraculous landing from staggering heights turns out to not be about feline agility but ignored fatalities. After all, a cat that never makes it to the vet cannot add to the statistics. And during the grim days of World War II, placing armor on planes was a matter of life and death. Abraham Wald's insight on ignored bullet-riddled wrecks shifted focus from wing to engine. The valuable lesson here is thorough data scrutiny. Full spectrums, not selective shimmers, should inform your decisions. Comprehending survivorship bias tames optimistic delusions and opens eyes to the broader landscape of both flourishing success and cloaked defeat. Let's be vigilant, and never let the shining stories cloud the numerous eclipsed narratives. I challenge you to search for the unspoken, the concealed mistakes, and augment your understanding with the entire scope, not just the surviving slices. If you've enjoyed this dive into the nuances of success and survival, take a moment to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell to stride towards clarity and informed action. Now, ponder this. Which survivorship bias might you unravel to aid your decisions? Share your plans and newfound strategies in the comments below. For those who've reaped wisdom from our discourse, a gesture reflecting the value gained is welcome. Navigate to the description for details. Thank you for gracing this intellectual journey with your presence, and until the next revelation, keep seeking the full story.